what is true happiness mm mm-hmm. you know and um i just saw this uh screenshot and it made me realize that as a people we are looking for happiness in so many things yeah especially even now as we're starting a new year yeah we we might have pegged our happiness on this and that me achieving this goal this or you know whatever it is that you have uh, planned for the new year and so this is what the screenshot said yeah true happiness that's the title mm-hmm. and it says um when we believe um when we believe ultimate happiness is found only in god then we will shut out distractions and we will stay in his word amen and it continues to say if we buy into the lie uh, that happiness is to be found in wealth beauty fame and uh, a number of endless pursuits that even includes um, our goals you know we've put up goals and we're thinking you know when i reach this goal yeah yeah then me i'll be happy when i do this then i'll be happy mm-hmm. then um if we put our hope in this and if we think that the pursuits of all this is what is going to give us happiness anything besides christ then we are doomed to unhappiness direct unhappiness mm-hmm. if we put all these things above Christ. Yeah. Then unhappiness is our portion, imagine. That is as simple as it is because we are pursuing the wrong things. Mm-hmm. And this screenshot, imagine this is all from a screenshot and it continues to say, but when we believe that the ultimate happiness and a transcendent joy are to be found only in God. Amen. Then we will then we will um for a time turn off our screens. We will take a pause, mm-hmm. you know. and we will open the word of god and we will bask in his presence Amen. asking his spirit his spirit rather to speak joy into our lives yeah and that is where we'll find our true happiness amen and so my title is as simple as that true happiness is found in god that is it true happiness is found in god mm-hmm. And you know um there's always this debate between happiness and joy and it is true yes god wants us to be happy but more so he'd love us to have joy yeah. through it all because happiness um can be short lived it because it it depends on something what if, if this happens then mm-hmm. i'll be happy you know it's it's uh, an emotional thing so if if uh, maybe i get my my you know um the thing that i've been praying for then i'll be happy mm-hmm. but what if i don't then i'm unhappy or we like stay in joy knowing that god will and he's still god is still supreme you know so there's a whole discussion there but mm. one thing that i'd like you to know is that also god wants you to be happy i won't lie he does amen but he doesn't want it in the way that we want it not in the design that we have for ourselves mm-hmm. and so that is why um i was just stressing at that point you know if you're thinking that happiness is found in only achieving the goals that we've set that I'll only be happy if I've gotten to let me use something that we were just talking about today if I get to the weight that I desire that is when I'll be happy mm-hmm. otherwise I'll be gloomy you know I'll just be you know niko tu yeah then I think that we are robbing ourselves of something god does not want us to focus on these things you know the the different things that you're trying to achieve yeah. this year he doesn't want us to put our focus on them yes he wants us to 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 achieve our goals but he wants us to put his focus on him There's a difference. It's not that God wants us to just be these Christians who are just there and um you know it, it just seems like yeah you're not doing anything. Mm. No, that's not the kind of God that we serve. But he wants us to find our joy, our happiness in him. Amen. And then after that allowing him to work through us mm-hmm. to achieve the things he wants us to achieve. Amen. And so that is actually my point number 1. true happiness how to find true happiness number one, just focus on god amen stay in the word just as that um screenshot i've read if you really really want happiness mm. then there's some things that you just pause automatically sometimes yeah. and you'll be like you know what lord let me come to the source because he is the source of happiness mm. it's not that god doesn't want you to have wealth no he does it's not that god doesn't want you to achieve and have that job and you know get those six figures and no he does god wants you to to thrive by yeah. the way and he wants to see you happy but he doesn't want you to focus on that so that by the time now you're getting to that mm-hmm. if it's taken away eh hey, is a rap you know it's like eh hey, mimi it's done deal is a done deal mm-hmm. so that's why god asks of us to put our focus on him 
He knows we need all these things. He knows all your needs. Yeah. He knows all the goals you've set up this January. He knows. And he knows that in fact he's the one who's put some of these instructions in you. Mm-hmm. Actually there are so many things that you know if you hey, maybe the Lord has told you to start a business this year and you're thinking eh okay babra so what does this mean do I just pause sit and just focus on God No what I'm saying is focus on him yes but don't let the the success of your business or the success of that goal that you need to achieve be your ultimate happiness Yeah let it be that you get your joy and your happiness and and that fulfillment from God. Amen. And I like a, a, a portion of scripture that says, and I think this is uh, the Good News version. Uh, this is Proverbs sixteen twenty that says, "Whoever trusts in the Lord, mm. happy is he." There are some versions that says, uh, "Blessed is he." Mm-hmm. There's just something about putting our trust in the Lord. There's a blessing to it. So automatically there's a peace there's a happiness yeah. just by trusting in mm-hmm. the Lord. So if you've been looking for happiness, I don't know if it's in relationships, you're looking for happiness, you will not find it. Yeah. You won't find it there. You'll only find it in God. Amen. You'll only find it in God. And so even as we're starting this year, as you're putting your things in order, your house in order, just know that your happiness is only going to come from God. It's not going to come from um, doing this or that and mm-hmm. this. And no, it's only going to come from the Lord and focusing on Him. Amen. And so the second thing um, that I'd like to share, this is actually even the last thing, is another way that we can walk in happiness. I'm talking about happiness today, yeah? Because it's if God didn't want us to be happy, then He wouldn't have put that emotion in us. Mm. You know, it would not have been part of our package as a people. Like yeah. happiness is also part of you. You know, like it, it would just have, it, it wouldn't be there. But he does want us to be happy. And so number two is um, one way or the second way to be happy mm-hmm. is to walk in the ways of the Lord. Walking in the ways of the Lord, fulfilling the purposes that God has called you to mm-hmm. walking in his path. So you're looking to him, you're trusting in him, but at the same time, you're walking in his path. This includes obeying his commandments Amen. it means walking with him you know what god says he does not like you also you don't like mm-hmm. that is that is what it means like you're walking with god in a way that is what yani it's like friends walking together that hey if he doesn't like this mm-hmm. even you don't like it yeah. if he likes this okay then we're going to do this because with that then you're going to you're not going to be living um at at uh, like you're fighting within yourself yeah. like there's not going to be what what do you call it uh, antagonistic mm-hmm. forces within you you're going to be walking in oneness with the holy spirit that is within you amen so that is how you get your happiness actually by fulfilling the purposes of God, by walking in his ways, Amen. by obeying his commandments. That is how you walk in happiness in this earth. Awesome. So as we're going back, even as we're just starting this year, align yourself to this. Trust in God. Look to him and believe that he actually wants you to be happy. God is not seated somewhere saying, Hey, how will I frustrate these believers of mine? Mm-hmm. These this children of mine. Hey, let me think of a new frustration mm-hmm. for this day. You, you know, like Christians, we should, hey, sometimes yeah. we can look so gloomy because of how life ca- has happened, mm-hmm. maybe. But trust you me, God is not just sitting down thinking, Let me frustrate my children. That is not him. In fact, he's thinking of ways to bless us, to, to do more for us. So trust that, you know, you, you serve a loving God. Because yeah. I think that is also something that affects us, how we see God, mm-hmm. how we believe in him. So sometimes you're thinking, hey, this one is just a, 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 you know, a master with a cane, just waiting. But that is not our God. Our God is a loving God and he wants the best for you. Amen. And so even as we're just talking about um, following his commandments, go back to scripture, sitting with the word. It is intentionally sitting with God. It is intentionally seeking for him to guide us. And that is how you're going to find happiness. There's no other happiness, by the way. There's no other happiness. Mm -hmm. But yes, there's a happiness that comes as you're fulfilling the, the purposes of God. For instance, as I've said, maybe you're a business person and God has called you into the business space, the marketplace. And as you're doing that and fulfilling his purposes, mm-hmm. then there's a happiness you get by fulfilling purpose. I won't lie. Yeah. But it has to be in tune with God. Mm. 
because sometimes I don't know if you've ever done something that is so away from your purpose. I don't want to Hey, there's just mm-hmm. always some. Hey, apana. Yeah. In a kata, he just refuses. So if you have that ka, ka, ka tying, you know, there's that ka antagony in your spirit, then you need to align and you'll find your happiness amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Awesome. Amen. A simple reminder for today. Yeah. A simple reminder. That is powerful, Barbara. Yeah. I told you. Amen. Powerful. And amen. Um, God just, you know, mm-hmm. I like what you said, that God does not just sit somewhere mm-hmm. waiting to frustrate you. Yeah. That is not what a father Mm-mm. does to their children. No. And God is our heavenly father. Mm. His plans and purposes for you are good. Yes. For I know the plans, plans. that I have for you. Mm. That is what God says. Mm. So just trust in him. Trust in the Lord mm. and in the power of his might. Amen. Thank you very much. Amen. 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 So let's pray. And um, we have a few prayer requests here. Um, this is um, Purity saying, Hi Dan, um, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Lord, I surrender hmm, all my heart's desires. Lord, thank you for what I have and mm-hmm. what I don't have. Wow, Purity. All right. Thanksgiving. And um, she continues to say, mm-hmm. um, I feel God has forgotten me and dejected me. All right, Purity, mm-hmm. we're going to be praying together. And um, do we have any other prayer requests? We have uh, Caroline. Yeah. Uh, okay, all right. Okay. And uh, someone else here, this is uh, Kevin. My prayer request is for the children who are not going to school due to mm-hmm. lack of school fees, illnesses, or any other courses. I pray that they may get school fees, uh, that they may get healed, um, and that any obstacle to their education is removed. Amen. Okay, there's a lady here who hasn't left her name. She okay. says, pray for me and my husband, okay. God, to bless us with children. All right. Yeah. Okay, so let me start um, with purity. Then we'll go to Kevin and then we'll go to the WhatsApp. All right. Father Almighty, we thank you so much for today. We thank you that, Lord, you have been with us. That, Lord, you started this day with us. And even Mm. as we're coming to the end of it, we know that you are here with us. Yes, Lord. And so, Father, we thank you even for the reminder that our true happiness, our true identity, our Mm. true joy, everything within us, everything um, that we desire comes from you, Lord. Yes, Lord. And so, Lord, we say thank you for this reminder. Thank you. And we pray that, Lord, would you help us to live this out every day Mm. that we will be reminded that you know what our identity our happiness and our joy comes from you yes lord Lord, would you help us would you show us the path to walk on that we may stay here and know Mm. that indeed it is all about you that it is you lord who is always going to guide us and always going to fulfill that gap and that Mm. desire that we have